What's going on wolves? It's your boy Saeed in this video. I want to talk about how to do psychedelics and particularly mushrooms, magic mushrooms, psilocybin mushrooms for beginners, okay? Uh, so first of all, what are magic mushrooms? What are psilocybin mushrooms? What are psychedelics? Psychedelics are uh, mind-altering you can call them drugs, you can call them substances, you can call them chemicals. Chemicals is, is more appropriate, right? Because everything's chemistry, your chemistry. You're run by chemistry. Your body's a lot. So, they're mind-altering chemicals, substances, uh, that put you in altered states of consciousness and make you perceive the world in a way that you normally, ordinarily, in your waking up normal consciousness, things you would not normally see. Okay? And they're known to give people if done in the correct way a lot of spiritual insights about themselves their true nature their true spiritual nature and their connection with nature and with everything around them so that being said let's talk about how to do it for beginners and like i said i'm going to specifically talk about psilocybin mushrooms because i haven't tried other psychedelics yet um so first thing first number one I don't think that psilocybin mushrooms and psychedelics, for that matter, uh, is for everyone. I think if some people do it and they're in the wrong place in their life and they're full of negative energy, oh my God, like, it can take them into bad trips. So I don't think they're for everybody. First thing first, you want to get yourself in a decent place in your life right now. Just, you know, a decent place. And, you know, you want to have like, you know, you want to feel at least at the lowest, at the minimum, you want to feel okay about your life. If you feel like you hate yourself right now and you feel really bad and you're full of negativity and you think life is shit, I don't know if you should be taking them right now, okay? So get yourself in a, in a decent place, okay? You don't have to be the happiest guy in the world or the happiest gal in the world, but get yourself in a decent place, somewhere where you're, you're feeling okay, all right? Um, and then, you know, say, okay, let me give psychedelics a shot. Let me see if they can maybe give me some insights and take me to the next level in life and kind of get to know more about myself, right? So have some sort of a personal development background before you even attempt or think about doing psychedelics, right? Do personal development. You know, I, I talk about personal development in this channel a lot and will always, you know, talk about personal development. Have a strong foundation, personal development foundation in your life. You know, develop certain habits, get your ass to the gym, eat right, uh, think positive. Once you develop these positive habits, which you can, everybody, anybody can do. If you guys are watching this, this video, and these videos in my channel, you there's you, you are working on personal development, or you would have never subscribed to this channel. So continue to do that. Get yourself in a decent place, right? A lot of positive thinking, uh, positive perspective on life. Like I said, cold showers always. Then, think about, okay, maybe I want to do psychedelics. Maybe I want to try psilocybin mushrooms. All right? So, once you make that decision and you feel like you're in a good place in your life, you have a decent foundation, personal development foundation, next thing you want to do is dosage. Okay? For a beginner, you want to do somewhere between 1 and 2 grams of psilocybin mushrooms. All right, as a beginner, my first time I did it, I did two grams. It was nice. I liked it. If you're a little bit iffy about it, start off with 1.5 grams. Okay, 1.5, 1.2, you know. I don't know if one, I've never tried one, so I don't know, but maybe 1.5 as a beginner. All right, so that's the dosage. Very important because you go from two grams to three grams, it's a big difference. Three grams to four grams, it's a big difference. Four grams to five grams is a big difference. Five grams to ten is a big difference, all right? It, those just make a difference. So as a beginner, you don't want to blast yourself on the heroic dose, like five grams. No, you want to start off slow. And in fact, the first few trips, you want to start off slow. So start off with 1.5. If you're feeling a little bit adventurous, go two grams, all right? That's the dosage. Now, the other thing, set and setting you don't want to go to a bar or a club or a concert 
high on mushrooms. You just don't want to do that, okay? You want to have a good set and good setting. And the best setting, in my opinion, is Mother Nature. Because the energy here is so beautiful. It's so clean. It's so welcoming. You know, I would say go to Mother Nature. Or if you're comfortable in your own room, your own house, do it there. Uh, but I really recommend that you do it without people around you. Not, not friends, but I'm saying people, culture. So even if you get yourself to the woods, go somewhere where there are no, no, nobody. There's no people, okay? Um, so you can have like an experience with yourself. Get, to, get inside here, inside your mind. Uh, so set and setting, very important. Very, very important, okay? Don't do it in a place that makes you feel negative. If you don't like your room in your house, your apartment, whatever, don't do it there, okay? Because you become very sensitive to your environment on, on mushrooms. You become very, very sensitive. Whatever the energies around you, you're going to take it. So if you go to a bar or a club, you're screwed. You're probably going to take in a lot of bad negative energy, and that's going to make a bad trip. A lot of people, they have a bad trip because the setting, the setting they're doing it, it's, it's not where it should be, all right? So... Some more comfortable. That's the whole, that's the bottom line, right? If you find comfort in your own room, do it in your own room. Uh, if you find comfort in nature, do it in nature. Somewhere you're really comfortable, you're really happy, you're really positive. Okay, set and setting. Uh, another thing, you want to get yourself in a very positive mind set for that day. So before you do it, uh, you wanna feel really good. You know, put on your favorite music before or like. Even three days building up to when you decide you're gonna do it. Put on, like, just fill yourself with positive energy, you know? Like ahead, you know, ahead of time. Three days before, you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna be as positive as I can leading up to the trip. Just be as positive as you can. Instill as much positivity in you. Chill with people that make you feel positive, make you feel happy. Listen to music that makes you feel happy. Do things that, may, that, that you love, right? Build up a positive energy a few days in advance. And especially on the day off, you're going to do it, right? So we've taken care of the dosage, which is, I would say, between one and two grams. Uh, and we said, we talked about set and setting. We talked about having a strong foundation of personal development. Very important. If you're feeling in a really bad place in your life, not time. For, I don't think it's an appropriate time for psychedelics and suicidal mushrooms. Um, another thing, now, should you do it with people? Uh, as a beginner, I would recommend you have a sitter with you. A sitter is someone that is uh, more experienced with doing psilocybin mushroom, that has done it before, that understands its uh, spiritual nature, understands its power, right? So if you know someone like that, definitely. You, you know, I mean, you can do it with them if they're down to do it. If they're not down, but they're down to like chill with you and make sure everything is good and everything is going to, you know, you're feeling good and everything. Having a sitter is a good idea if you're a beginner. When I first did it, my first time, uh, I did it with two people and there was a third friend. So we were four. The third guy didn't do it. The two guys did it, but they did it before, those two guys. So I kind of felt safe because they did it before and they kind of knew what they were doing. Okay? So it's a very good idea to have someone with you that knows what they're doing. They've done it before. They understand its power uh, and they can kind of keep you in a positive state, in a positive set, in a positive setting. Okay? Uh, and another very important thing, intention. If you're just doing mushrooms or any other psychedelic for that matter, just so you want to have fun recreationally, you're probably not going to get much out of it, right? You want to have the intention of, I want to learn from this. You want to look at the mushroom and you want to be like, you have a lot to teach me because it's a teacher. The mushroom, nature is the greatest teacher and it's the only teacher you need in life. To be like completely honest, the only teacher you need in life. Mushroom, it's, it's a fun guy, right? It, it comes from nature. It's nature. You want to respect it. You want to look at it as a teacher. And you want to have the intention of, I want to learn something about myself. I want to learn something about my spirituality, my spiritual nature. I want to learn something about my surroundings. I want to learn something about society. You just If you have the intention of learning and you look at the mushroom before you just and say, I'm going to, I really want you to teach me something, it will teach you something. So intention is very important. If your intention is just to do it recreationally and have fun and be cool, you want to just be like, hey, I'm cool, I'm doing drugs, not going to help you. It can even backfire, right? So intention is, is very key. So uh, that's it. If you're thinking about it, good luck. Uh, talk to me in the comments. Let me know, right? 
Uh, I'll be your virtual sitter. If I'll do the best I can. All right. Uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've done it before and what's the maximum doses you've got to. If you've done it before, uh, if you're a beginner, again, good luck. It, there's a lot of things we can learn from it. We got to do it responsibly. I do not advocate doing mushrooms or psychedelics um, unless you're doing it responsibly. That's that's it. Check out SaidMobile.com for inspiration, for empowerment. Go to the description. I got a free book, Five Powerful Habits of Life in All Areas. Leave me something in the comments. And as always, don't forget to subscribe or you're going to sleep with the fishes.